Hey, what's up? I'm Johnny from Picmonic, and this is going to be a basic creator tutorial. Let's get started. Now we're going to start on our home page and just go over to the left side nav bar and just click on create. And then go to the middle of the page and click on create a new Picmonic. We're going to do mood disorders. Now the topic name will already be populated, but before we get started, let's take a quick look at the creator flow. First we have topic name, background, facts, audio, and settings. But the first thing we want to do is create a character for our topic. One of the things that you can do in order to help you create the character is just type in your fact and see what comes up. And then go ahead and click on search character images and you should get some results. Cool. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, let's check out the different tools you can use to adjust your character. You have flip vertically, horizontally, and crop. Let's go ahead and just crop out the moon. And we can make the moon as big as we want. But let's say that moon's not going to work for us. Let's see what else we can come up with. So in the character image search, you can pretty much type in whatever you want. Let's try Moody Moon. So we still got a lot of good options, but let's say nothing suiting our fancy. What else can we do? Well, just open a new tab. I like to type in the topic name and just see what comes up. Search for images and let's see what we got. A bunch of good stuff, but I like this one. And download this. Now let's name it something that we're going to remember and that makes sense. Like mood disorders topic. All right, now that that's downloaded, we can just go back to our Picmonic and drag it in here. Now let's go ahead and just crop out all this pastel real quick. All right. And there we have our mood dice. But let's say we don't want to roll the dice. In fact, we just want to create our own thing. Kind of like the beautiful Alina at Coffee and Anatomy. She creates a bunch of Picmonic type illustrations that would look awesome in the creator. So let's go ahead and put one in. How about this one? Mood disorders. Fitting, right? It's like I planned it. We're going to go ahead and asset this image out in Photoshop. In a later tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. Um, but for now, we'll just keep it high level and uh, see what I got. So I'll just go to my finder real quick. And we'll upload our topic title first. Let's see, that's right here. Just drag and drop it in. And it shows up right here. And we'll just drag it to the top right corner. And let's do this one more time. And we'll put in our topic image, which it's going to be that roller coaster. Because your mood is like a roller coaster, baby, baby. Sorry. I'll stop. There it is. And we'll drag it down. Now, if you'll notice, we have two images in the same fact. And you can put as many images as you need in that same fact. But when you start putting a lot of images in a single fact, things can get pretty convoluted and a little confusing. Just remember, you can control the layer order of your images with this little arrow right here. The down arrow will move that layer below, and the up arrow will move that layer above. Now, let's go ahead and throw in a topic summary uh, for two reasons. Um, first, because we'd like to let other people learn from our Picmonics, as well as the actual act of writing in that topic summary helps you solidify that in your own memory. So I sped this up just so we don't have to wait on my typing. All right, we have that in here. Let's now check out some backgrounds, see what we can find. Now we can go ahead and just type something in here like amusement and see if anything comes up. Oh, we got a couple things. Well, hey, this one looks pretty good. We'll just use this one. Now, I just wanted to show you how to add in a background, but we're going to go and just take it out just because the white background is really simple and uh, part of Alina's style, and we don't want to mess with that. Now we can go ahead and add our first fact, which is going to be hypomania. Just add that, and we'll follow the same flow that we did in our topic fact. With the only difference being, we need to select a classification. We select a classification for a number of reasons, but the biggest reason is so it works well in the quiz. I'm going to go ahead and call hypomania a disease or condition name. And so 
I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just for time's sake. Um, if you want, you can slow it down. done now we'll go ahead and just go over here to the done customizing and you can do this throughout the process but all this does is save your image to make sure you don't lose it um, and it'll ask you for all the things that you may have forgot uh, background image no thank you and skip and save now let's check out our work All right, everything looks pretty good. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to add your own audio. And it's pretty awesome, so check it out.